The live stream will guide you and protect you in your journey. Thank you. Okay. Hail, hail. Absolutely. So here's the plan, chat. Today, we're going to have our first guild meeting. Okay, we've got to talk about some things here for the crusade. Mmm. Very good, very good, very good. Mm-hmm. We have a lot to talk about today. We have a lot to talk about. I'm gonna join these guys in Discord real quick. <clears throat> Let me join them in Discord. <clears throat> I don't have one. I really struggle with Hello, everybody. Okay. Hello. Okay. Good morning, my leash. Good morning. Okay, so there's a few yeah. things we need to talk about today, guys. For one, I hope you guys are enjoying Season of Master, or excuse me, Season of Discovery so far. I want to go ahead and make everything clear. This is an RP PvP server. Well, I'll just go ahead and explain the rules for the guild meetings here. Don't, don't talk over leadership if leadership is talking. That's a big one. Also, two, no one to talk. Because if all of a sudden everybody's speaking at the same time, like it gets, it's, it's weird and it's loud and it's annoying. Turn on your push to talk. If you are speaking, all guild meetings are to be done in character, okay? You don't have to be, you don't have to do a medieval voice or anything like that, but this is an RP server, so we're going to do a little bit of RP, okay? This is real. All this is real, so we're going to talk about it as such. Everybody, please have a seat and stop casting spells in the cathedral. You guys are all acting like hooligans right now, all right? We need to stop casting spells. This is very serious. We need to focus up, all right? First things first, we've, uh, we've come to this realm now for uh, about a week, and there's been a lot of developments that have happened, okay? Uh, the Horde have been running rampant on this server, <coughs> on this realm, <coughs> excuse me. But that's okay, because we're the Crusade, and we handle things a very certain way, okay? And that's with strategy, and that's with uh, agility, being mobile, Pl stop, hey, stop casting spells. You can't just call upon the light. You can't just call upon righteousness for no reason. Otherwise, you're going to lose that power. You can only do it so much. And if you can't act right, then you're not going to be here very long because we need everybody to be ready at a moment's notice. I just want to say really quick, not to interrupt, there okay. is a couple people not of the guild that are here. They might be casting spells. Okay. Just to be annoying. Just okay. to Well, we'll just, we'll know who they are. I'm looking for him. Okay. First things first, we need to make sure everybody here is of the 25th season. The Inquisition of the Crusade has uh, been created, and because there's so many people who've joined the ranks of the Crusade, we've decided to, uh, to expand upon the Crusade by creating the Inquisition. So the Inquisition is now open for enrollment. So if anybody is unavailable currently to join the Crusade, then you are going to be able to join the Inquisition. Uh, we have the ranks of the Inquisition open. And in the next two days, whoever in the Crusade is not of the 25th season, we are going to be moving into the Inquisition. That's the current plan. Because we have a lot of people that want to join and be a part of this. And unfortunately, we're, uh, we're limited by the by the powers that be that's our current solution is that we uh, we've decided to open up the inquisition and that in the inquisition is going to feed into the crusade uh as uh, as we see fit so eventually what's going to happen is both the inquisition and the crusade will uh will likely be everybody of the 25th season and uh, and nothing else are there any questions if you're not of uh, the 25th season right now will you be moved to the crusade immediately or you will not be moved from the crusade to the inquisition uh until two days from now. Will that and be a day, end once, of the day or? That'll be whenever I feel like during that day. Once you've uh, obtained the 25th season, will you be moved uh, from the Inquisition to Crusade or will you just stay there? Uh, until the Crusade is full of a thousand people in our ranks that are of the 25th season, then uh, then you will be moved. But once it fills up, the, the goal is that we have, uh, that we have two, uh, that we have two uh, different, uh, uh, basically, we're going to basically have one very, very large crusade, and that's going to be the crusade and the Inquisition. We're expected to treat everybody with respect and treat everybody well, by default. However, if you are crossed, then you must burn them to the ground. 
Do not let them walk all over you. However, you have to destroy anyone who wrongs you. But by default, you treat them well and you treat them with respect. And this goes especially for the Horde. Because we are a righteous crusade who follows the light. And the light is not forgiving of sinners. <clears throat> Next up, I've been, uh, I've been aware, made aware that there's been a number of people asking to, uh, if there was any opportunities to uh, take some ownership and uh, lead a little bit more in the crusade. And uh, there are going to be some opportunities for that. And because of this, uh, Ally Pone has actually uh, crafted a, uh, uh, a scripture here that you can fill out and uh, we can take a look at this form and uh, we're going to be able to uh, decipher if you're fitting of being a part of the leadership in the crusade for uh, at least here on this realm. And I will be looking at all these forms uh, publicly and I will be giving my opinion on these forms publicly as well. So uh, if you do not want your form to be read publicly, then I would not, uh, I would not fill it out. You will be properly vetted, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, that form is going to be uh, posted on the bulletin by Ally Pone. He's going to be pinning that to the bulletin here shortly. Let's see, next thing on the agenda that I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about today, and this is something we experienced a little bit. Um, actually, no, before we get into today, I, I want to talk about uh, just the standard procedure here. Seeing as how uh, there is a whole expansive world available to us. There's a whole expansive world available to us that uh, we have not trained well enough, and currently we are unable to train well enough to be able to uh, conquer what we can currently conquer is, uh, is deemed to be, by some people, not uh, a, a large challenge logistically. And because of this, uh, there is no particular plan to, to be running uh, any sort of official sanctioned uh, raids against the Black Fathom Depths and going in and, and destroying the Naga uh, officially. That's not going to be something that will be officially sanctioning. However, I fully expect people to, uh, to gather these raids together from within Crusade and be able to go in there and properly, correctly, be able to lead these things. If you go in and you lead a, a raid on Black Fathom Depths and you do it the wrong way and you uh, try and take all the spoils for yourself or anything of the sort, you will be very, very quickly dealt with. We don't have any of that here. We do not deal with that. Next. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Yes. Yes. I resent the fact that you said you were unable to train well enough to conquer this whole land. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That is all. Thank you. I appreciate your vote of confidence. However, there are some, uh, there, there, there are some outside forces from the powers that be that currently make us unable to do so. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, with that being said, the Horde are in a very similar boat. The Horde are in a very similar situation, and as such, that's where the real competition comes from. That's where the real work comes from for the Crusade. If you're a part of the Crusade, you're expected to be able to move swiftly, to be mobile, to be agile, and to be ready to dispense justice across the land at a moment's notice. We want to go about things fairly, and we want to keep things in good sport. However, if so be it, a call to arms will be called, and what the proper call for a call to arms, or sorry, what the proper uh, action for a call to arms is, is simply you drop everything you do outside of specific exceptions, which we can cross when we get there, and you are ready to go to battle. That is, that is our primary goal. We need to go and we need to spread righteousness across this land from sea to shining sea. Manifest destiny, okay? Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, it doesn't matter. And New Year's, yes. You're spending Christmas here in New Year's, absolutely. Absolutely, that is part of it. Because of this, we are going to uh, have a... Uh, we're going to begin working on a war manual. It's going to encompass uh, some strategy that we're going to have to have. Today, and this is what I want to talk about again today, uh, I did think our response was relatively good. 
Today we had a fire drill. However, uh, I was a little bit disappointed with the results. I do feel, to some extent, I'm to blame. I feel like, to some extent, we were a little bit out-strategized, to some degree, but probably not. But probably not. That is more than likely not the case. They have a lot of power over there on the Horde, okay? They have numbers on us. So, in order for us to co combat their numbers, in order for us to com combat their numbers, we're going to need to be able to move swiftly, move quickly. What does this mean? Warlocks. We shouldn't even have you as a part of this. Warlocks should not even be a part of the Crusade. Actually, can you go ahead? I see demons in the cathedral. There are no demons allowed in here, please. Can you shapeshift out of your uh, metamorphosis? Demetamorphosize, please. Out of respect for the church, if you will. This is a holy, holy place. Thank you. Thank you for showing respect to the church, Sormund. Thank you. Now, we shouldn't even have you as a part of this. However, as I am a righteous and forgiving leader, I do think there can be light even in the darkness. And we do need you, warlocks. What does this mean? This means our warlocks need to be prepared with many soul shards at all times and be ready to summon people. Whether this is to Ashen Vale or whether it's anywhere else we need to go in the realm. Ashen Vale, uh, Hillsbrad. I mean, those are the two primary places where we're going to see, see people causing problems, possibly Red Ridge and Westfall as well. Uh, we saw a horde attacking Lakeshire. That's, uh, that's one of the fronts that we've had a, a major problem on. Another front that we've had a problem on is uh, while we've had many of our alliance, many members of our alliance going to the dead mines, uh, we've had some problems with, uh, with the horde attacking uh, those people going in through Moonbrook. <clears throat> so we need to work on that. We need to work on being mobile. We need to work on being agile. And I think part of this is not, does not only just rely on our warlocks, I think it relies on us as a group making sure we have our hearth set to the, uh, the proper place. And by that I mean making sure that you go to the Astronar Inn and you need to check in with the innkeeper in Astronar and book a room. Make sure that you have a room available for you in Astronar. That's one potential, uh, one potential area where you need to check for a room. The other potential area where you need to check for a room is probably going to be Darnassus. Historically, we've mostly worked here out of either Stormwind or Ironforge as members of the Alliance, but we may be looking at something different going forward, and that may be Darnassus. I've already talked to some of the leaders of the Night Elves. There may be a change made to where we will be uh, focused on, on moving more often out of Darnassus. This is something that historically has not been done, but given the, uh, the current stipulation by the powers that be during this season on this realm, it is likely that Darnassus is where we, uh, we end up working out of. Uh, that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, also, with that being said, working out of Darnassus, and I'll go ahead and explain why we'd be working out of either Darnassus or Astronar. <clears throat> Simply, it comes down to mobility. Uh, primarily, the Horde have moved their forces into Ashenvale. There's a big war going on right now between Ashenvale and the Barons, or in between the Ashenvale and the Barons, uh, between the Horde and the Alliance, and uh, you have the, uh, you have the, the, uh, uh, the uh, Silverwing, Outriders, or excuse me, the Warsong Outriders, uh, working with the Silverwing Sentinels, or working against the Silverwing Sentinels of the Night Elves. And the Night Elves have actually asked for us to come in and help them uh, fight against the Warsong Outriders. And uh, I know there's, there's a little bit of, uh, I, I think there were some war crimes committed today. I think there was some war crimes committed today. And if it comes to that, if I have to go speak to the leaders of the Horde in order to create a pact, something to prevent these war crimes from being committed, then I will do so. I would like to call this pact the Warsong Pact, but if it comes to that, I will work on the Warsong Pact. So that is something to uh, that is something to think about. That is something to uh, just keep in the back of your mind. But at the same time, you want to let them know. Okay. Next up, are there any questions? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open the floor for questions and uh, one at a time. Real quick. Okay. And uh, state your name, please. When, uh, Hyde Volk. Hyde Volk. I was curious when the pieces were going to be added to the bulletin so we could uh, queue up, or not queue up. Missing the word here. Mm. 
volunteer your services? When we could, uh, yeah, when we, uh, when I could volunteer my services or apply for a leadership position. Uh, that will be done shortly, within within the next few minutes, even. Okay, thank you, my lord. Mm-hmm. Hello, uh, sir. If, if you a moment of your time. Absolutely. I, uh, I'm a dwarf paladin named uh, Ancium, and I, uh, I've reached my 25th season. However, I have a, a sister who I may transfer my power over to. Mm. Uh, she's a priest. Mm. What is the uh, process uh, by which to best do that, if, if need be? If, uh, if you have a, a sister, if you have a, if you have a family member that uh, you would like to give up your position to in, uh, in the crusade, as part of the crusade, then that is something that can be done, absolutely. Uh, just make sure to contact one of the leadership and they can do that for you. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, Ansem. My liege, this is Dak. May I approach with an offering for the uh, crusade? Yes, absolutely. Now, Dak, is that true? You were the uh, first of the crusade to uh, attain the 25th season? Yes, I did not sleep at all until I had acquired the 25th season. Ah, very good, very good. I have two things. First, a worthy mantle for you. Oh, excellent. Excellent, a very worthy mantle. I will uh, trade you four linen cloth for said mantle. I think that is fair for your efforts. Thank you. And second, I have acquired secret knowledge from the Horde. As ah. far as I know, this is the greatest quality food that may be obtained mm. in the world currently mm. for the crusade. I have also learned it myself. This is an extra recipe that I have created. Ah, very good. The heavy crocolisk stew. Well, I'm glad you took notes on this. I'm glad you, you wrote this down for us here. You obviously have, uh, like you said, you didn't sleep until you attained the 25th season. So I will give you some water for your troubles. And you can uh, take a rest. Thank you, Dak. And that is it. All right, great, thank you. We're gonna make sure to give this to uh, uh, our uh, the Crusade chefs to make sure to have this prepared for us. The heavy crocolisk stew. Okay, are there uh, any other questions? My yeah. lord. My lord. Uh, one at a time. This is, my lord, this is Sacred Fox. Mm-hmm. They me as the Paladin Fox, but mm-hmm. when I joined the order, they gave me the nickname Sacred. I would like permission to not get kicked out for not role playing as Sacred Fox. <laughs> what is role playing? Sacred Fox. What is role playing? Well, they say that I'm just the warrior mm. in the church, mm. and I'm role playing as a paladin because I have Sacred Fox as a name. Mm. I need permission from my leash to be called Sacred Fox. Mm. No. From this moment forward, you will just be called Fox. I will pray to the gods. However, you will not be excommunicated from the crusade. Thank you, my lord. Mm. I will help bring everyone to the 25th level. Very good. Very good. My lord. Yes. Lil' Kai here. Sabretooth. Mm-hmm. During the Battle of Ashenvale, we heard you running and yelling, I need to take out my penis, slap it on the table, and dominate the realm. Yes. And then the realm seemed to crumble. That is, is because... Is there anything we... <laughs> yes. I would like to clarify, that is because the penis was too large. Understood. Is that going to be a recurring issue going forward? Anything we can do to support your penis? In the future? Uh, it's getting cold, thankfully. So hopefully this will no longer be an issue. Understood. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Malik. Thank you. Oh, Lord, I got a quick question. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is Makan. Um, if we are working with uh, agents outside of uh, the kind of crusade, mm-hmm. should we, uh, is there a public place to host them? or when we're speaking to each other and working together within the means of communications that we have. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, there is there is another place uh, that is currently open uh, for uh, as a, another channel of communication. If you truly open your heart to the to the light, there is a uh, another another um, 
another channel of communication if you think very, very uh, righteously, if you think very truthfully, um, not just through the channels of Crusade, but uh, also through my own personal channels, uh, you may communicate with others. And that is, uh, that is available to you, that you can freely share with, uh, with others, and that is totally, totally acceptable behavior. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sir. Yes. A few uh, knights have come up to me and asked. Mm -hmm. They say the squires have no way to get up to knighthood. And they suggested that the squires serve the knights, and when they have done adequate service, they can get promoted. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this? Uh, you have to earn your way. Into, you have to earn your way into this guild, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. If we need people to go, and they need to uh, team up, group together, to be able to uh, cleanse the lands of Horde, or even venture into uh, various different locations, and uh, defeat the enemies, because they do keep coming back. I mean, Edwin Van Cleef is, is a terrible, terrible, terrible man, and he has a gang of defias thugs that will not stop. And I would not be surprised to some way, someday see those same thugs coming directly into Stormwind and trying to terrorize the buildings in here. So if, if uh, those who are of higher rank than you ask you for help, whether it's to defeat the Horde or whether it's to defeat uh, any of these other foes that are uh, placed around the, uh, or sorry, that, that uh, reside around the realm, then uh, if you are able to, I would ask you to do so, yes. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you know Can you hear me? Yes. One at a time, please. Yes. This is Sanjella. As you know, I'm a very ancient night elf who just started roguing not four years ago. And I require advice, my lord. Yes. <laughs> yes, what do you, uh, what, what is About four what years ago, I joined what is called the Subtlety Coalition mm. as a freelancing rogue. Mm -hmm. And despite this four years of service, the, the badge they gave me only says two years on it. And well, I wanted advice on how I might get my boss to give me a four year sub badge, if you will, for my four years of service mm. instead of two years, please respond. I, I, I'm sure the, uh, the four-year subtlety badge, uh, as a paladin, I have nothing to do with such things. However, uh, the, the four-year subtlety badge and, uh, the three-year and the five-year subsequently, uh, I'm sure they will be given to you soon. Uh, however, as okay. of right now, I have n next to nothing to do with that, and, uh, we have much other more important business at hand. Understood. Thank you. My lord. Thank my lord. Yes. Oh, hello. Denzel, sir. A pleasure to be healing. A oh, man of the faith. I was wondering if potentially at this point or another, I could say a prayer for our guild meeting. You know sir. what, Denzel? Go go right ahead. Thank you. We should have oh, actually... Yeah. Actually, oh, that, is, uh, that is my fault. We should have opened with prayer. I should have done that uh, oh, prior. Well. But it's okay. Denzel, go right ahead. At any time you need a prayer, sir, look no further than Big D, as they called me back in when I was a paladin. Oh, it's a long story. You don't care. Everybody. Mm. I thank you all for gathering here today in the name of the Alliance. <laughs> we gather for a holy crusade, one that is meant to protect these lands from the horde scum. Mm gathering for the purpose of the crusade is one that I admire and one that I will dedicate my last breath to however distant that may be <laughs> with that being said may the light bless you all thank you for coming and I look forward to many adventures and battles by your side right, thank you amen for the light thank you very good Yes, thank my you, Lord, thank you, Denzel. Amen, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord, oh, amen. My Lord. Lord. It's uh, your man, De Fizzle. I mm. have a question for you. Very good. Go uh, ahead. I want I want to know when you're going to finish your manuscript on the seal twist. 
Mm. Yes, yeah, on the uh, the technique of uh, twisting the different paladin seals, imbuing yourself with uh, multiple holy powers at the same time. Uh, that's yes, uh, yes. I've been working very diligently on this, and I've uh, I've handed my my research to uh, to the uh, to my scribe, to my personal scribe, and uh, he's going to be putting it together for uh, for the archives uh, very soon. Hopefully, within the next couple of days. Yeah, oh, my siege. Mm. Thank you. I, my lord, I, I lord Esfand. Yes. Might I approach the, the stand? Uh, yes, go ahead. Many thanks. My name is Arthur John Hosier. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to address the matter of our guild tabards, the colors that we wear to mm. signify our rank amongst the crusade. Mm-hmm. Many have said that they wish for a return to the classic red and gold. Mm-hmm. And I myself, I am quite fond of the blue and gold, but I propose that we perhaps meet in the middle and uh, don robes of purple and gold, since this is a combination of the two colors you see. Another idea, I uh, believe that a hot pink would be quite fetching. That is all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. My lord. Uh, To answer that, uh, thank you, Arthur. Um, No, we will not be doing that. We will either run with uh, with a blue tabard or a red tabard as a part of our colors, uh, and there will be no exceptions, other than exceptions that I decide upon at a moment's notice, which could happen at any time. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, too bad. Please. Is that lemon? Hi, Lord Esther. My Lord, <laughs> I have a question. Yes? My Lord, you spoke of war crimes. Mm-hmm. I am unaware of... Of, w- of what those are as a rogue. Could you explain further? Uh, so there were, there may have been some war crimes committed today, and uh, these said war crimes uh, may have uh, caused a rift, in the, an ethereal rift to have occur in, uh, in Ashenvale between uh, the Silver Moon and the War Song, uh, and us being a part of that battle uh, may have caused a catastrophic amount of damage to this realm. And uh, as such... There may come a time where we have to, uh, like I said, uh, I may have to work on the Warsong Pact, and uh, there may be something that needs to be done in order to uh, prevent that uh, ethereal rift from occurring once again. I understand. My, My question Lord, is, good. could I mm-hmm. continue to prune the smaller horde in the Stone Talon Mountains? That does not count as a war crime, correct? Ah, this is a fantastic question, and this is something that is very important as a part of the crusade. And I take very, very seriously. When we want to come and dispense justice upon the horde and liberate their wretched souls, we need to do so in such a manner that they do stand a fighting chance. We do not want to go out of our way to, uh, to destroy the young ones, those that are unseasoned, because I personally believe that there is no sport in that. As important as it is to dispense justice and spread righteousness from sea to shining sea, it needs to be done in a way that is proper. And I, I do not approve of such things. Mercy for the young. Well, the young maybe, maybe not. But but the unseasoned. Let's say the unseasoned. Because if it's a seasoned young, then anyway. Uh, next question. My lord, that's fair. My lord. Yes. Are you talking to me, sir? Yeah. Yes. My lord, this is Senna. Mm-hmm. You look very parched. Can I bring you some water? Uh, I am. However, let's wait until uh, until the end of the uh, uh, let's wait until the end of the meeting in order for me to uh, take take a drink. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Sinna. No My lord Esfand. Yes. I come as a representative of SI Seven. Today we were aided by a guild known only as the Wall. They are led by a man known as the Roach King. Mm. Can we expect their aid in the future? 
perhaps as part of these accords you speak of? Uh, I think that we have a, uh, I, I do need to speak to, uh, the, the one who built the wall and, uh, possibly we can, uh, we can have an alliance built between the two of us. Uh, I do expect those who, uh, who are a part of the wall to, uh, work with us hand in hand as, a, and I do expect us to work with them hand in hand as well as they are a part of the greater alliance and we are going to need to work together because at the end of the day, and this is something that we have dealt with in the past on previous realms before we've made our travels here, we will be outnumbered. There will be more horde available uh, to fight against us than we can bring to the table oftentimes, but we have to go out there and we have to be, uh, we have to out strategize them. And that's just the truth. Thank you, my lord. I will mm -hmm. go report this immediately. Mm hmm My liege. Yes. My liege, it's just Scarletta. May I approach the altar? Yes, of course. My liege, Corporal Esfen, mm -hmm. I hear much talk of blood and crusader strikes. Mm. How do we ensure that our pursuit of justice does not blind us to the potential for redemption and healing? Does the light not teach us forgiveness? Forgiveness is earned, not granted. And I do think it is important that we, as righteous members of the crusade, do believe in the process. We have to have confidence, belief, and faith that our process will yield results. And we should care about life, liberty, and the pursuit of justice. So, with all that being said, I think those who seek forgiveness, we give them every opportunity there is to earn it. However, it is not granted for free. Thank you, uh, thank you, Grace. Thank you, my, my liege. Mm. My lord, yes. My lord. Yes. One at a time, please. Was that me? Go ahead. This is Weyan, my lord. Mm. In the Warsong Gulch, there are quite a high leading uh, horde D doing quite an insane job, honestly, at uh, coordinating the efforts of uh, the horde. We genuinely need to do something in the Gulch to push back against uh, the efforts such as uh, Sony and Ampi. Those mm. two high ranking officers are getting far too powerful. Mm, mm, indubitably, indubitably. Um, so, like I said, there is a uh, there is a very, very serious battle going between the uh, Silverwing Sentinels and the Warsong Outriders. And we will go assist them uh, as they have requested. Thankfully, when we go into the Gulch, when we, when we go into the Gulch in between the Barrens and in between Ashenvale, there's only a limited amount of space for our troops to enter. Honestly, with that limited amount of space between, uh, between the Horde and the Alliance to be able to enter, I expect there to be, uh, I, ex I expect there to be a solid effort given because it is a fair battle. It is a, it so is a fair a coordinated strike. I think, I think there needs to be work done if in this fair battle between the Horde and the Alliance, uh, we are not victorious. I think there needs to be work done in order to train to uh, become more coordinated and be able to defeat the Horde in the Gulch. Yes. All right, good. Thank you. My Lord. This is Bob uh, Block. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. I thought the point of an inquisition was for people not to know about it. Why are we announcing one? Because nobody expects the crusade inquisition to be announced. Very good. Mm -hmm. My leash. Thank you, Bavlik. Yes. Uh, Captain Zolinar Lightbringer of the Lights Hope Chapel at your service, sir. I have one quick question. Yes, go ahead. The shield is my calling. Mm. Delving the depths of the darkest dungeons is my calling. Are we also required 
to face the Horde in the open battlefield? Or is that something that we are only... Is that something that we have an option of doing? No, that is something that is required. That is that I is a own. primary concern of the crusade going forward. Because, truthfully, with the current uh, the current issues at hand that are facing us this season, it is really our only option. It's the only way that we can go and truly spread righteousness with the crusade. Very well, my liege. Mm-hmm. I will hone my craft. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Hi, Lord Esven, may I approach you? Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you, sir. Um, let me kneel. Mm. Uh, my name is Smite Stesh Venterius, and uh, I hate to bother you, but my sister Mary Bell, she's noticed you, and um, she would kill me if I uh, didn't ask. Um, have you considered taking a wife? No. I am currently married to the idea of spreading righteousness across this entire realm. Well, she may be soul crushed, but I, it, it, she would kill me if I didn't ask. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. My lord. My lord. My lord. Uh, yes. One at a time, please. Uh, may I go? Yes. Now, I have two questions, if that is okay. Go right ahead. I am, I am Bligus of Westfall. Now, some people may have things about that, their past that they do not wish to reveal, or they may not remember. How, how do I say this? How much detail must we um, give to other members of the Crusade when it comes to our backstory and our past? Ah, okay, I I understand. I mean, there is a very, uh, uh, many people have a very clouded past, and I'll be honest with you, while we do have a, uh, uh, while we have a very righteous standard here, it's not entirely about your past in uh, in the crusade. It's about the present, and it's about the future. It's about uh, where you're going from this point forward. So... If there's uh, several things that you may not want to share from your past, uh, I would expect a little bit of honesty about your past. However, if you don't want to share everything about your past, I think that is perfectly acceptable. Now, this ties into my first question, but as you know, there are many rogues that have joined the crusade that may have come off the streets Mm -hmm. who are petty thieves Mm. and uh, would sin and steal. Now, Mm. coming forward, many are turning away from this path, but they still have the skills to pit pocket. Mm. What would our, what would be the moral conundrum of pit pocketing our enemies and Mm. stealing from them, such as the Defias Brotherhood? Mm. I believe, personally, outside of a few specific factions, I think it is morally incorrect to be pickpocketing as a member of the crusade. However, I do think, I think the Defias are evil, and I think that that specifically is acceptable behavior. I also think there may be times where you're in a life or death situation, and in order to be able to survive and continue your training, and to continue uh, seasoning your abilities more, uh, more properly, if you need to do so, then you have to do what you have to do. However, if you can keep from pickpocketing somebody in order to continue on, I would prefer for you not to do so. Thank you, my lord. Mm. Might I speak, my lord? Uh, absolutely. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Darwin Boldbeard of the Boldbeard clan. Mm. But you can call me Boldbeard on account of me bald head. Okay. I'll be wondering these non-sanctioned uh, 
attacks in the depths of Black Fadama. Mm. Might we have some form of bulletin boards? Perhaps some sort of mm. sign-up boards within the Raven system of messaging? Mm. Uh, some sort of method for that? This is a fantastic question. Uh, the fantastic question. Um, so, this is actually something we are also currently working on. Uh, we are wor currently working on uh, creating a bulletin board in order for those who are a part of the crusade to be able to uh, work together, to be able to sign up to work together, and to defeat the enemies, the Naga of the Black Fathom Depths. So that is something that is currently in the process of being worked on. Uh, I believe that we are uh, a, a slight bit of ways away from it being ready, but it is going to be ready quite soon. So that is a great oh, question. Thank excellent. you. Excellent. The mm. Gnomish engineers be working hard. Mm. Uh, may you rub me bald head for luck. Just uh, go on, give it a little rub. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Oh, all mm -hmm. right. Thank you, sire. All right, thank you. Thank you, Davril. My lord, I know you... Go ahead. I know you spoke of um, having the warlocks within our ranks and mm -hmm. need to keep them there. However, do we have to keep the gnomes? For example, there is one to your right dancing like a harlot on the light fixture. It's very inappropriate to the light. That's all. Amen. I, uh, I do completely agree with the second part of what you're saying. However, we are a, a righteous group of people. And I will say this, the gnomes have been cast out of their own home. No Morgan has been taken over by the terrible trogs. Disease runs rampant in No Morgan. High Tinker uh, Mechatork has taken over and he's sided with the trogs and he's completely, completely ravaged what was once a very beautiful home for all these gnomes. We, as part of the Crusade and as part of the Alliance, can see that the gnomes offer quite a bit of engineering prowess, a very, very uh, powerful tool in our arsenal, which I do expect uh, to see more of, and that's something we can, uh, we can talk about in the future, about engineering and uh, needing these gnomes in order to teach us their, uh, their ability to engineer, and we want to support them. In fact, I will go as far as saying such, my plan, as a part of this crusade, is to go forth, someday, to go forth, and to take back Gnomergon for the gnomes. That is our goal, yes, yes, that is our goal. We want to take back Gnomergon for the, ro for the gnomes, excuse me. We are going to save them, we are going to help them. So yes, the gnomes do have to be a part of this guild, absolutely. I understand, Sir. my lord. Then I will make them my maidens across the land. Mm-hmm. My lord? Sir. Yes. Do you denounce the autonomous farming of gold that I see happening out in the world? I have... Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This is a great... Another great question, another great topic of discussion. <sighs> I have seen many, many mindless drones, zombies, these troll hunters perusing through Hillsbrad. And I know that's not the only place they are. These mindless drones run from animal to animal, poaching without a license, not out of defense, but they are just killing to kill. And they're skinning them and they are selling their skins illegally on the market. This illegal selling, oh. this illegal selling of these animal pelts does not go unnoticed, and I think as part of the crusade, we need to go forward and we need to make sure that if we see any of these mindless drones patrolling the lands, going from animal to animal and uh, illegally selling these pelts, they're taken care of swiftly. And they are, uh, you need to report to them to the authorities as soon as you possibly can, and you need to slay them on the spot. I fully expect you 
to destroy every single one of these mindless drones on the spot. You can watch them for just a few moments and it's very, very easy to tell that they are a mindless drone. Thank you, sir. Usually their names are weird characters that I just don't well, understand. Well, not, not, not weird, but they're not, uh, they're, you don't understand them, that's all. So Thank that's, you, sir. yeah, there you go. Now, another thing that leads me to, the people of Hillsbrad have been under attack nonstop. Whoa. The Hillsbrad fields run rampant with Horde. Rampant. The mines run rampant with Horde. I would like to see people, I would like to see people defending the people of Hillsbrad. I've seen the farmers be murdered in cold blood, blacksmiths, tailors, peasants, minding their own business, just murdered in cold blood. Miners, the sentries, the Hillsbrad, uh, the Hillsbrad militia has actually put sentries outside of the mines to protect the miners, and it's no good, it's no use. The Horde keep going forward and slaying them in cold blood. This is unacceptable behavior. So I would hope to see, and uh, I may have to come up with a diagram for you, but I would hope to see that the Hillsbrad Fields and the Azerlode Mine uh, stay protected for our Alliance brethren in Hillsbrad. Is there any other questions? My lord. My lord. Mm, yes, go ahead. So, I am uh, Visev, the Gnome. I am an assassin of the shadow that you once showed the path to glory. Mm. I am. I have come from Hillsbrad. Okay. I have been on a mission to dispatch the wickedness with the righteous fury of the light. But they keep returning. Mm. What should I do? If they keep returning, you must keep returning. Make sure to keep the people of Hillsbrad safe. I will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Salute. Absolutely. Next question. Yes, my lord. I I have a question. Yes, go ahead. My name is uh, Mitika Avison, and I apologize for my voice. Uh, I have been slaying murlocs, and mm. it seems uh, their poison has gotten <laughs> to me temporarily. Ah, okay. Go right ahead. Sir... I am wondering, there is a forum in which we can speak openly about ourselves. I am wondering, is there a way that you may ha help me find such forum? Hmm. Uh, speak openly about yourself in what way? So I, I'm aware that we talk about us as people who are crusading against such evils, mm -hmm. such as the Murlocs who have, you know, stricken me with this mm -hmm. terrible, terrible disease. Um, and I would like to express the character in which I am. However, I'm not sure how to do so. Hmm. Well, in order to be able to uh, express more about your uh, about your, your character and who you are, for those that uh, for those that may not be aware, there is a certain uh, forum in place that you can uh, fill out your information. You can fill out your information uh, on this forum that uh, people can uh, can access. And this, uh, this Librum, actually, you fill them out in a book. It's a Librum. It's a book that you will be able to input. The, the book is called, uh, it's the third volume of Total Something. I don't remember what the next word was. However, it is the third volume of Total Something. Yes. Total, to, uh, total, total Red Paladin. Total Red total Paladin. War. I can't remember. I just know it's that there's an R and a P. Yes, there is an R and a P. Uh, but I don't know what the R and the P stand for. But uh, you can actually open up this book, and there is a uh, there is a log that everybody can go and they can fill out their backstory. And I do expect everybody to uh, give themselves access to this log. So uh, to to go ahead and uh, go to your local library, go to the Stormwind Library, and take a look at Total RP, the third volume of Total RP. Uh, again, I don't know what the RP stands for, but uh, it does stand for something. 
It might be now, Reprio. There is a cursed forge that is next to the library, so I do suggest you stay away from that. Yes. There's a cursed forge, so uh, the cursed stay forge, away from that. The, despite the fact that we are a righteous crusade, uh, the cursed forge means us no harm, and uh, I would I would not be... Uh, I would have no fear of a cursed forge. Uh, in fact, I've used it several times myself, uh, and that is uh, my own personal recommendation would be to use uh, to use the cursed forge for uh, for good. My lord, if I may. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the RP in the TRP stands for Registry of Persons. So please do make yourself acquainted. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I, yes, I didn't speak to the librarian, but the Total Registry of Persons. The third volume of Total Registry of Persons. I like that. Thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Esteemed Lord, Sarita. My Lord. Oh, one at a time, please. My Lord. At times, the manifestation of my demon form becomes an unavoidable necessity in our battles. Mm. Will my occasional display of this form be accepted in service of our cause? Uh, yes, however, uh, I, I, I fully expect that, uh, if you are in the, within the cathedral, if you are within the church of Stormwind, that, uh, you do not, uh, show yourself in your demonic form or bring your demons in here because of two reasons, one out of respect, but two, uh, for your own health, because the light does burn you. And it would be, uh, it would be an awful shame if we lost one of our many valuable warlocks to such, uh, to such a thing. Yes, my lord. Mm -hmm. As a warlock of the light, I wield both the shadows and the light and will defend our cause. Very good. Very good. What about this uh, cool naked dude? Can he stay in here? <laughs> uh, which one? No, that is also a demon. The demon has that that is that incubus has to leave. There will be no demons in the church. Yeah, damn. yeah that is there will be none of those. Next question. My lord. My lord, it is I, Bishik. Mm. As I walk through the streets of Stormwind, there is something fearsome and more disgusting than the fluid dripping undead that I see roaming the fields, and it's frightening. I, I've caught on to a tradition the street rats play called uh, death rolling. Ah. This, this death rolling does not seem to be of the holy path. Uh, what, what say you on this death rolling? I do not sanction nor approve of this uh, this death rolling that occurs. It occurs in the streets. It it clouds the minds of the children of Stormwind. I've seen those even of the fourth and fifth season. Children even. Death rolling in the streets. And this is because of a terrible, terrible influence that has been given to them from those of higher seasons. This is a horrible, horrible thing that's happened. And while I will leave you to make your own decisions on such things, I personally do not approve of this death rolling. And I will have no pity for you if you death roll yourself into poverty. My lord. Yes. Yes. I recently saw some filthy street urchins in the clan kick.com who were being supported by kick.com in order to death roll what is Should a what is a, in the street what is a dot com i don't know what a dot com is i am unaware that was the name of their clan i'm i'm just wondering if we should just slay those filthy street urchins i know i know nothing of such a thing and i will pay no mind to it until i know thank you if, I'm made, sir, if i may my lord Yes. Dot com are servers that the gnomes from gnome region are making up the evil powers. It's new servers and new technology they are making to spread their evil influence on these younglings and these people across the world and realm. Hmm. Uh, sorry, can you ask me the question one more time? There's a dancing bear that is distracting me. I was staring at him. Uh, one more time, can you repeat your question? But I think it, it he is distracting quite a bit. Tommy Lord, if I may. Okay, go on. Before you send the salt, uh, can I give some advice on what we should do on the battlefield? Uh, yes. Before you send the salt, my lord, thou shalt count to three. No more, no less. Three shall be the number that shall count. 
and the number of counting shalt be three. For shalt thou not count, neither count thou two, excepting that thou then proceed to three. Five is right out. Once the number three, being the third number, be reached, then thou shalt poison thy blade and strike thy foe. I agree. Huh? I, I, that the demon is pretty true. Just fucking yeah. exploded. My I, lord, whenever I what? hear him speak, it makes me want to kill myself. I, well, I think, I think <laughs> we there's... We might not speak like that in the cathedral. Listen. There's... I don't know what just happened. Uh, my, I think my brain just exploded from uh, the numbers. Yeah. But I do, uh, uh, I do, I do uh, appreciate. I do, I do appreciate your input. But uh, the the uh, amount of numbers, uh, I don't know what kind of curse you were casting upon us. But please be careful when you uh, cast that again. Right. Thank you. I think she I just think... wants you to count to three, boss. Uh, my lord, I think the uh, the gnome has been silenced. Uh, oh, I okay. do have some pressing matters to uh, to address. Oh, go ahead. Uh, name, name's half, <clears throat> half, uh, half of the Fellwood. I'm a, yeah, I'm a demon hunter. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I was at the Wailing Caverns, uh, looking for some pants, and uh, the horde, they, uh, they won't let me get my pants. Uh huh. Uh, so I'm just, I, I need to make a request. It's a little bit selfish, but uh, yeah, I need, I need those pants real bad. Um, mm. there's like 25 horde, constantly circling the Wailing Caverns killing everybody that passed even younglings they're killing children mm, mm. it's fucked up even for me mm. well maybe maybe yeah. Hef, maybe uh maybe in your in your uh demon hunting escapades maybe we can uh, get some assistance for you uh, a little bit later to be able to uh, get you some new pants to be able to hunt demons yeah. uh even even better yeah. than you currently do if I may. it's really cold it's, it's, it's really look at these legs yeah you don't it's have so pants cold. at all actually yeah in fact the tabard is I all that this. covers your uh uh, I can see. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's... I praise this tabard every day for protecting my uh, <clears throat> my innocence. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Maybe we can get you some pants a little bit later, Hef. Oh, thank you, thank you, my lord. My lord, it is I, Baylor. I have a pressing concern as well. Uh, yes, go ahead. I have been concerned about uh this charts we have concerning our professions uh people keep asking in the same uh i guess you could say chart on the same charts overall mm. <laughs> they are being spammed in a way that they are asking the same question over and over is there another way we can go about this where our professionists and the guild can help our guildies Mm. For example, I have full alchemy and I can help mm. every guildie. Yeah, you have full alchemy. What does full me. alchemy mean? I have the full profession of alchemy in this in this realm. Ah, uh, as if as if lector of lesser agility. Oh, you have you have, you have mastered you have mastered uh your uh your alchemical abilities is what you're telling me. Yes, oh, I have mastered okay. the chemicals, the al the art of chemicals. Mm. Okay, very good. Very good. I think, I think I think there's uh the opportunity is there is a uh note you can post on the uh on the guild bulletin you can post a uh, a note on our on our roster on the bulletin and uh, that would be the best way to make people aware of your uh abilities of uh how how far progressed you are in your professions I have I have tried as such the way you are uh, suggesting, and that is what I mean. Those those same channels have been run through over and over, spammed, and I've been asked over about thirty times the same question. When I have noted, uh, I am such. Well, then I think sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not on you; it's on them. They have to uh, they have to go in. They have to find it themselves. All right, my lord. That is all. <laughs> okay. My lord, Hello, Lord. Claps may the I ask a question? Uh, just next question. Uh, so I I want to know what the ruling is on uh, having to go out of town and leave for a sit night. Mm. I I will I have to watch over my sick father's home, and I will I will be gone for a sit night. Will I be temporarily removed from the crusade for doing so? We can, uh, we can approach that. 
Uh, we can approach that when uh, when it gets there. When will you be leaving? In two days, my liege. Mm. That is, uh, what, what season are you right now? What season have you attained? I am 24, almost season 25. I think you have nothing to worry about, but I would, however, uh, make uh, make note of it with uh, with the leadership. Absolutely. Thank you, my liege. Absolutely. My liege is I, Fachemin. May I have a word? Oh, yes, Fachemin. Go right ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, Fachemin of the Cenarian Circle, mm-hmm. hailing from Darnassus, may I offer Darnassus not as an area of war, but a sanctuary. Mm. Perhaps we reconsider Ratchet as our hearth, mm. alongside our goblin allies, mm. its strategic proximity to Ashenvale, mm. and the crossroads may serve as a strategic area of battle. Mm. My worry with uh, my worry with attempting to uh, get space in the inn in Ratchet is I don't know if I can trust the goblins, for one. I, I don't know when the goblins are going to turn on us. For now, we'll work with them. They're neutral. However, I don't know if several years down the road they decide to side with the horde or even if they decide to attack. Mm. So I do not trust them. My but leash. the other thing, uh, I do think that there may be a, uh, a strategic advantage to being able to uh, to work in Ratchet, but we're going to have to uh, speak with our leaders and see uh, see which uh, which of our options are going to be the best. I do like Darnassus because the uh, when they sing the songs of those who have uh, journeyed the Black Fathom depths and uh, conquered it with uh, with, uh, with with great uh, success. I do think there is a, an advantage of uh, resting in Darnassus and finding room in the inn. Mm. Mm. I, I will take we'll make, we'll make that decision play. going forward. Uh, howdy, sir. Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, this is an octopher uh, from a small island outside of the Maelstrom. Uh, Eladine, mm. I think it was. I just moved here about six days ago. Uh, I tend a small farm during the day, and this may come up in the agenda here soon. Um, I, I first want to say, obviously, I'm very happy to be a part of such a large crusade for the light. Mm. I've never been part of something like this. So it's very wholesome. Uh, but I was just wondering, any uh, any future meetings like this is... The sun usually sets a little later on my side of town, mm. and it takes me about a little bit of time to get here. Are we gonna, uh, are we gonna have this about the same time in the future, or w- what's this gonna look like? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, the meeting time will uh, will be set on a case by case basis. There is there's no uh, particular schedule to the meetings. Um, ideally, you will be known uh, more than well. You'll be known at least a day in advance. Uh, today, that was not the case. Uh, this was uh, this was set yesterday, and the time wasn't known until today. So uh, there, we have to be mobile with our schedule. That's the thing that's very important. We have to be agile. We have to be mobile, and uh, we have to uh, be able to change our schedule as we see fit. Appreciate it, sir. You run a tight ship. Mm, thank you. Now, with that being said, uh, I wouldn't expect uh, I, I wouldn't expect the uh, the meetings to last far too long in the uh, in the future. I wouldn't expect the meetings to last far too too much longer than this in the future. Um, typically, something between an hour and uh, an hour and a half is what I would expect our meetings to last. My lord, yes, we'll take a few more questions here. Uh, this one is. Very important. Uh, it's a question regarding the beast, such as this uh, gyrating beast in front of you. Uh, mm. I have seen a few individuals being intimate with bears. <laughs> what, uh. Is intimacy forbidden among the crusade? Are we to be celibate? Yes, it is completely forbidden. 
As a part of the crusade, celibacy is a vow that you've taken. Uh, either before or after you've read the fine print, that's how this works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I promise. Thank you. That's a very I good make question. a vow to never do that. Bye. Thank you. Sir fan. Yes. My name is Sephiro Silverleaf of Darnassus. My father served with your father in the Battle of Mount Hygel so long ago. Uh, yes. Oh, very good. Very good. He often spoke of how they kept track of their dragon kills and other activities with points. My question is, how many of these dragon kill points are we getting for this meeting? When it comes to uh, the, distribute, is the, the distribution of any sort of point system, I will be the judge of that, and I don't expect points to be handed out, uh, these accolades to be handed out easily, but I do expect them to be taken away. In fact, I would expect it to be much more easy to have these things taken away from you than, than given to you at any point in time. Just so you Very know. Very good. Thank you. I also have some advice for those who are new or even the season 25 and above. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they've never considered looking for specific season 20 to 25 gear. The gnomes, they've established many lines of communication, forming webs of knowledge. One of their technical libraries called Wowhead Classic. Mm. They have filters for types of gear and levels. Mm. These tomes, they will tell you what quest you must complete or what vendors you must visit. Mm. What for the hell are you talking about? Well, so what? Uh, so what? What of these tomes? What of these tomes? For example, I, I have found knowledge of a bow that exists for hunters at the end of a raptor quest line in the wetlands. Mm. I would have never known about that if I didn't read these tomes. Mm. Well, you can share your knowledge of these tomes individually with uh, with fellow members of the crusade, as uh, as you see fit. And others can uh, sure. can go to the Stormwind Library and they can uh, they can search the the tomes as well themselves. My Sir, lord, I will do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My lord, may I speak, please? Uh, yes, go right ahead. Thank you. This is Huntress Sleepies, the Narcoleptic Night Elf. Now, on the subject of celibacy, I was wondering what thine lordship thinks of members of our crusade being spotted in the Goldshire Inn, participating in acts that may be seen unworthy of the light? Hey, that was you one time. Okay. <laughs> just, just. Hold, hold, hold. You've seen this with your own eyes, Sleepies? Aye, my lord. This is disgusting behavior. And I do not approve of any of this. If you are in She's an... sleeping, what does she know? Wait, this is a good point. Were you asleep? Um, perhaps, but... You've I don't know, actually. I don't remember Wait, if it was there? a dream. I was nearly passing by on the way to the dead mines. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, actually. That's reasonable. Okay. Sleepwalking. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, listen. We do not need to do... Uns I, I do not approve of unspeakable acts occurring in uh, any inn, be it Goldshire or elsewhere. If you are in an inn, I expect you to partake in normal inn activities like sleeping and uh, purchasing uh, purchasing water or food or uh, just having uh, a, a bit of ale for yourself at a table. My lord. So, uh, they're thirsty. They're thirsty. That is quite a shame. I mean, um, yes, my lord. Thank you so much for the insight. Very good. That was normal <laughs> inactivity. That is not normal inactivity for the crusade. Okay, next question. Oh, my lord, lord, my lord. Okay. Nightshade, lord. figure it at your side. Once our gathering draws to a close end here, might I propose a venture to the esteemed ice cream purveyor? A scoop of the finest ice cream doth beckon to sweeten our tongues and lift our spirits at our earnest discussions. What say thee? Ice cream. Ice cream shall only be awarded. Shall only be awarded after a glorious victory over the Horde. And 
In fact, I will go ahead and uh, I would take it a step further and say that there is really only one ice cream, and that is uh, Tiggle's strawberry ice cream that we will be eating when yes. the time comes. Yes, thank you, Lord mm -hmm. Esme. My lord. If I may. Uh, yes, next question. On the thought of intimacy, what is the opinion of the Lord on jor Jorkin thy shit? Uh, one more time. On the talk of intimacy, I was wondering what your opinion is on Jorkin thy shit. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I that, know who you are. Uh, twisted mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, listen. I don't need to know what happens in your private life. Next question. Get it. My lord. My yes. Lord. Uh, so earlier you were talking about possibly setting hearths or just renting out rooms at the inn and like mm. other cell. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, uh, like, I believe this will present some logistical issues because there's hundreds of us. So I believe we might have to like share beds and maybe strip down some of our gear mm. so we can all fit. And specifically, I was wondering if, uh, like, volunteer, if you needed somebody in your room <laughs> to stay with you, I, like, I, would, I have a, I have a, a I have a single room available to me already, but thank you. I uh, do appreciate the offer. However, I do already have a uh, single bed uh, available to me. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm, I'm disappointed, but okay. Thank you. You said you're single? Uh, yes. Oh, sing, uh, uh, please do not speak out of turn. Okay. One at a time. We don't Very need everybody close, making a comment after every single question that uh, comes about for the guild, okay? Next question? Very quick, very quick, my lord. With all these questions about intimacy, is this a sex cult? No, absolutely not. Next question. It, on the topic of despicable things, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was part of a war band of about... Mm, 15 or so and we were helping other paladins within the crusade obtain the knowledge of the vine storm when uh, a number of the paladins uh, got the orb from the tower and then abandoned their fellow paladins mm. and we wanted to know your stance on this this is not absolutely not the behavior of a paladin this is not paladin behavior you don't exhibit selfishness selfishness is the last of the things that I would expect to see a, a righteous warrior of the light exhibit. It is absolutely disgusting behavior, and I fully expect those who follow the light to, uh, to bestow their help unto others. So if you see them do such a thing, they may be excommunicated from the church, as far as I'm concerned. Very well. Thank you for your answer. Mm-hmm. My lord. Yes. Now, I hear stories from the Darklands over next to Westfall Darkshore of a monster the size of an ogre. His stomach agape. Mm. They say it's an undead of strength that has not been matched. Mm. What? They call him Stitches. Yes, I've heard of the mighty Stitches. What shall stitches? we do the about this Cretan? Yes, this abomination, if you will. Uh, look, Stitches is a terrible, terrible, terrible abomination that runs rampant and attacks Duskwood. If you see Stitches unleashing havoc onto Duskwood and you are there in person, I fully expect you to help defend Duskwood by any means necessary and at all costs. I expect you to help slay Stitches. However, be wary because Stitches, being a disgusting, evil abomination of an undead being, he can come back to life and he will constantly come and wreak havoc upon Duskwood. So if you see him in Duskwood, I expect you to attack. Thank you, my lord. Mm hmm. Mount Basil's gonna have our world. Uh, yes, go right ahead. I have been tracking a filthy little elf. Hmm, okay. She took a trinket from me. Don't you happen to have it by any chance? I have not seen such a thing. 
actually. I've never seen such a thing. I was just sure. I'm... What, can you describe this, uh, this trinket? It has a familiar number. Uh-huh. Is this number... What, how is it familiar? <laughs> Are you okay? Can, can I get you a lozenge? I'm I can make him okay. Oh, okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, surely, I don't. I have nothing in my possession that would be of use to you or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. I will keep track. Keep look. I yes, absolutely. Thank you. If I may, good sir. Uh, yes. This is no more warlock. Tubes Tinkleton here. Mm. First off. Thank you for your inclusion into Crusade and to Stormwind, having t- a, to share a home with dwarves for so long is rather, uh, well, unfortunate. They smell rather musky. Ah, yes. Also, I apologize for the nonsense my fellow warlocks displayed earlier, turning into demons and raining fire on the chapel floor like some hooligans. But regarding the call to war that you spoke of earlier, if we are currently dispensing indiscriminate justice to, let me, hold on a second, let me, let me check my notes, and Edwin Van Queef, mm. and we are currently engaged with the enemy, should we just flee, or should we continue our incursion? If you are currently fighting evil, out within the realm, and you are, uh, like I, like you said yourself, dispensing justice to these horrible, horrible, evil people that threaten the Alliance and the people of Azeroth, then I find it acceptable to finish what you're doing and immediately afterwards uh, come join the fight. However, if you are not actively... In the middle of uh, in in the middle of doing so, then I do expect a call to arms to be acted upon. Ah, great! Thank you, sir. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Uh, I see we have a uh, a fruit lemon. Uh, am I pronouncing this right? Uh, lemonism or is it lemonism? Uh, it's limonism. Oh, limonism. Ah, yes. Uh, do you have a question? Oh my God. I'm so excited. I've uh, never been part of a community like this before. Mm. I uh, should have come up with something to say. Then why were you in line, uh, Limo? Uh, my my, my, my lord, are you are you a uh, season twenty five per chance? I am. Well, then I just wanted to say. <laughs> Congratulations on acquiring a new season in the World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. I am proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. But I don't know what half of those words you just said means, but thank you. Thank you, Limo. Okay, we'll take a couple more questions here uh, before we conclude our meeting. Laura, Hi, Laura. Yes, it's me. I'm Aaron Steel Arrow. I'm kneeling in front of you. Can you see me? I'm on this crowd. Oh, there you are. I see you. I don't yeah. know. There's a there's a bear here that might we might need to have uh, removed forcefully if uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't act right here. We could uh, we could have yes, him removed sir. forcefully if he doesn't move on its own. But go right ahead, Steel Arrow. I am a all mercenary, right. uh, and I've traveled from very distant lands. Uh, I wish to offer my services to the Crusade. Hmm. Yes. Well. Uh, for Lord Esfan, for each point of gold. I will make our enemies feel tenfold in iron. My hard and straight steel will penetrate the tight enemy lines. Mm. I am the arrow that darkens the blue bright sky for our enemies. And my loyalty lies not in the gold of generals or in the glory of battle. Mm. And it is with you, Lord Essan, as your gold is with me. Absolutely. 
Well, I accept. I, uh, I, I thank you for uh, lending us your bow, and uh, we expect you to uh, fight swiftly and uh, righteously among our ranks. Now, let's deal or pack. Treat me, my lord. Mm hmm. Oh, you seem to be yes. busy. You seem to be busy with your hands right now. Yes, let's chill or pact. Yes, uh, but it seems your hands are busy right now. Uh, we we oh, can there. solve this after. Hmm. Well, there is. It's working now. Your hands are yes, free now. I can is. see. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Esfand. Mm hmm. Uh, next question. Lord Esfand, are you still yeah, you hot? Uh, sorry, one more time. There seems to be uh, just the holy, the holy spirit of voices. I, I they seem to be uh, masking what you were saying. Can can you repeat that? I, of course. This is Senna, and I am wondering if you are hot. I can make you wash. One more time. I, I I can't seem to hear. It seems to be uh, uh, just uh, spectral voices that are that are clouding your uh, your voice. My lord, if I may, uh, mm. Sinna is offering you water for your parched throat. Ah, uh, yes, sure. I, I will uh, accept some of your water. Thank you. A few more questions. Uh, Salty has a question. <laughs> ah, some e? beer-based boar ribs. Very good. These uh, look incredible, actually. These are these are very, very well cooked. Thank you. Thank you, Ja. Okay, uh, next question. We'll take one or two more questions. Oh my god, I found my push to talk bind. Holy. Uh, oh, we found it. Uh, found, uh, found your what? Yourself, Sorry, dude. push to uh, push to talk. What was that? Uh, when I was a child, I got an accident and uh, the gnomes, they put a little button on me. And so I oh, it on. okay, and very good. Yeah, so, okay, so like I run around Azeroth, right, a lot as a cat. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I noticed there's also a lot of kittens. And I was just, <laughs> I was just wondering if if uh, anyone wants to meet up in Moonglade for some, uh... that is not that is salty that is despicable behavior okay hey what's up baby that's not you are <laughs> you are not even a kitten public you are a, a warlock okay and okay. that is that is not okay Matt can he meow for me that's okay next question someone get us a cross and some nails my lord it yes Moxus Yes, Noxus. We've been on many journeys together, and you've taught me how to bless. Mm. Let me bless you to finish off this meeting. Oh, of course, Marxus. I will. Uh, uh, I will accept. I have improved might to mm. give you. Very good. Shit! <laughs> I had a mouse over. <laughs> Huzzah, my friends! <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Okay, that concludes our. That does conclude our. One, one more question. I have. I have some remarks for the crusade. Okay. May I approach the altar? Uh, yes. Go right ahead. Forgive me. I was pretty far back here. <laughs> okay. My name is Capri, men and women of the crusade. We stand here gathered within our home of Stormwind. I must address the inappropriate behavior in the cathedral, mm. as these gatherings are not meant to be squandered by such disregard for the setting. We should not, must not, forget that in order to protect these privileges, privileges that we hold, we must serve in the battlefield. Many have died at the hands of the evading horde due to the lack of our call to arms. Mm. We must set aside the differences and understand that those who fight to protect all we find dear are welcomed amongst the ranks of the crusade. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank here, you, here. Capri. Thank you. Okay, so that does uh, conclude our meeting. Uh, that's uh, that's all we have for today. We have a lot more to talk about in the future. Uh, there's going to be uh, th there's going to be some uh, a manual, a war manual that we're going to be uh, having to develop, uh, likely. Uh, here in the coming days, and uh, our next meeting, we'll, we may have to go over some uh, some strategy and uh, some other some other work that we may have out in the field. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. And remember, when you're leaving the cathedral, there is no running in the church. 
That is uh, that is disrespectful to uh, to run within the cathedral. So please, if you could walk out of here uh, calmly and carefully, and uh, you know, don't run over each other, don't step into each other. Uh, that'd be great. Yes. My name is Fiona Flag. My husband died with you on the raid in Ashenvale against the demons. Mm. I reign from South Shore. South Shore. Mm -hmm. I am going right now to avenge the farmers and the miners. If anyone wishes to attend with me. Mm. Very good. Very good. I shall accompany you because I am about to go there myself to exile the undead. All right. Very good. Very good. Hail, my lord. Uh, yes. Not a question, but a statement. Oh, go ahead. This is my first realm, and I appreciate joining mm. your ranks. Thank you all for inviting me. And Terry Ho. Absolutely. Terry Ho, indeed, good sir. I hope you Terry have a. Uh, I hope you have a good time. Uh, it's very, very. Uh, there's a lot of expectation here for the crusade. So uh, I appreciate your uh, your willingness to uh, participate and be a part of the crusade. I shall reach my 25th season indubitably. Indubitably. Blessings to everyone for the crusade. For the crusade! Mm. For the crusade, absolutely. For the crusade. For the light. Huzzah. Light. For the light. For Zachary. Hey, you know, let's kill some more. Stop, Salty. <laughs> 